Hi guys, Rick Day with the Cowtown USA, showing our newest trailer here that come from Murhau. Uh All aluminum, eight wide, seven six tall. I mean, guys, look, this trailer is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I'm gonna bring you here and show you what we're talking about. Spare tire and wheel, aluminum at that. Dual hydraulic jacks, dual propane, dual batteries. Your neck is sprayed with a with a rubber. Uh, bed liner type material. I mean, look at how this dude's put together. Yeah, I'm going to back you out here. Notice it's got your corrugated sides. Run from the front all the way to the back. How uh, it changes the appearance of that. Okay, then you have your power awning. Just touch the switch. Rolls in, rolls out. Big, nice, massive windows over the over the top of uh, or beside your bed. I should have mentioned the stainless steel nose. Bring it up here where you can actually see this. Come over here. Got your grab handle. Got your, got your uh, rain tray on the top of this. The top of your door. Got your light. That's the length that runs the length of your camper. Right here. You got the back side for your water heater, back side for your refrigerator. Come right here. You need power out here. 110 out here on the side of it. Fresh water connection there as well. Let's come here. Got your LED lights and your outside radio speakers. This is a looks like a, a pearl type uh, metallic gray. Okay, it's got your uh, drop down butt windows. And these are all handmade windows. This is not something they order from a uh, manufacturer. I mean, they make these in house. Go ahead and close it, John. Okay, now open it for them. I mean, you don't have to be six foot three to open and close this door. Me and Sean are not, but we reach it all right. Again, your aluminum wheels. These are. Uh, I mean, this is the best of the best, 17.5, 16 ply radials, doesn't get any better than that guys. Let me show you this, this is your Torflex Dexter axles, uh, this is equipped with, um, well, here's, here's the deal too, with Dexter axles, the advantage of buying a turf Dexter axles is this is, it's like buying Chevrolet, Ford, Dodge, they got Dexter Axle uh, stores. Uh, yeah, your repair shop. This is something that, that is a common axle across the nation. I'd like to tell you that Dexter's the only one had this, but if they don't. Now, the advantage of this is if you do have a problem, I'm not saying you ever would, but if you do have your local store where you, where, where you could be broke down, it will have parts for Dexter. Now, they put other brands of accident these trailers and if they do you could probably have the parts within a week or you could probably have them aired in uh, overnight or something like this but with Dexter the axles will probably be there. We're going to step in here to the horse compartment of this. First thing you're going to notice is butt pads. I mean this is this is pretty slick. I'm going to swing this around here and show you this is a four horse. You're fully insulated, you're seven six tall. The rings around your uh, two-way vents keep your horse's heads from getting hurt. You have the full flow through system. Now they can't get to each other, but the air that comes to the front will make it all the way to the back. You have a really nice uh, manger or feed trough, whatever you want to call it, with the, with the storage underneath. You got that. You got dual dual uh, horse ties. So this is not for you to tie two horses, but you might want to put a feed bag. You might want to hang something up here. You can do that as well. You got a collapsible rear tack. We'll show you that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here's something pretty neat. You know, we got a step here. How do you reach that top? Well, we got a step that flips up behind the uh, behind the door. This is also your your wall here is collapsible, and the saddle racks are not only. Uh, removable but they are adjustable if you want to move them down lower you can your wall is all covered you've seen these these campers or or trailers and seen where the bridles have turned everything black and turned and these aluminum walls turns the bridles and halters everything black this does away with that 
Here you got a swing out, uh, four swing out blanket bars, and this wall is also double walled and covered as well. Got your rubber bumper here for loading the horses. Now, I don't know if you can hear that running or not, but we have a, a, a generator sitting up here on top of this, and a real nice uh, aerodynamic hay rack, and a, and a uh, LED load light here on this side. Notice how wide this door is too. I'll back this up and show you this. You know, you can you can load draft horses, a four wheeler, I mean, will fit through that door. Okay, you're gonna come around here. Sean's got all the major doors open here for you. <coughs> Again, bars for your horses, uh, an LED uh, load light here on this, this side. Uh, you know, Sean, I didn't mention this, but these tires are called are nitrogen filled. The nitrogen filled tires, all that means to you, they say that the tires will last 30% longer if they have nitrogen in them. They run cooler uh, and they don't fluctuate like we were, like a lot of that does. You go out there and have a low tire when the temperature changes, it doesn't affect nitrogen. Okay, this has, uh, on this particular trailer, you never have to adjust the brakes on it. This, this is something that's been out the last few years. Uh, it's also equipped with Easy Lube hubs. Uh, it says only lithium only lithium grease so uh, very simple very easy to operate okay here again you know the inside of the manger is all lined that's pretty cool there too guys a lot more a lot more storage now sean's got the escape door open here in front of the first horse uh i mean if you get an emergency and need to get him out you can uh, but you can actually use this for an escape door or a back door for when, when you're camping or trail riding. That has a deadbolt system on it, so when you go in at night, you can, you can lock that door. Uh, you got a pass-through door here once you go in, so you can kick your, your muddy boots and whatever off in here and then enter your uh, your living quarters through there. We have This is equipped with a step here that you can see that as well. I'll give you a view of the slide out. This has what's called a super slide on it. Inside there has a couch and a dinette that uh, that slides out. You'll, you'll see that when, when we walk in. Again, the full, full corrugation runs all the way down the side. Now, when this slide out slides out too, it has an awning over the top of it that automatically does that. You do nothing with that. Now, I'll take you over here. you got your city water connection. So if you hook onto that, it has nothing to do with your water tank and just run off the city water. Uh, this is set up for a satellite system as well. And this will be for your, uh, I'm getting open here, for your uh, 110 wiring. Now this system is, um, this connection is for 120 volt, three pole. This is a 50 amp system. Now part of the reason we did 50 amp on this is it has dual air conditioners on it. Don't know if you noticed, didn't notice that. Uh, to be honest with you, let me step back right here and see if we can show them to you. Probably didn't notice them because of the uh, because of the uh, awning sticking. Out. There you are. There you are. You can see that. Well, we're going to take you inside. Well, let me show you this too while we're here. You want to carry fresh water for your horses? Right here's your spigot for that as well. Okay, Sean, let's go inside. 